Hello and welcome to part 4 of this series on how to build a cart in Roblox. So, um, it has been 3 weeks since the last live stream. Unfortunately, it took 3 weeks until I could get uh, do the stream again because I was a little bit busy with uh, Uni IRL, so that's the reason why uh, uh, there was a few a break of a few weeks between part 3 and part 4 but here we are today and in this stream I am going to try to stabilize this cart so I'm going to show you right now where we left off last time so first of all we have all these beauties visible so in part 3 we added the suspension to our carts uh, as you can see here and now, uh, let me just quickly drive the cart. I also added in. Um, uh, I also added in the drag thing, where the faster you go, the more re uh, wind resistance your car basically gets. So I made a simulation for that. So as you can see, this uh, car's going to uh, is struggling to get above thirty. So I start accelerating now, and then it struggles to get above thirty because of the way I did the drag and I believe the drag has been set up here and if I remember correctly if I reduce the drag to 0 0.1 then our cars should be able to go faster but I'm not sure it could be the other way around it isn't so as you can see I reduce the drag of this thing and now it has overall a little bit less resistance, so it's able to go a little bit faster. Uh, let's have go for a lap around this track. Let's actually uh, reduce the drag even further to uh, 200 and see how that works. Because I want to demonstrate the lack of stability this card still has. So I'm trying to control this thing, but it's uh, it's not exactly cooperating. I can actually, uh, you know what I'm going to do quickly uh, before going any further, this would be really helpful um, with uh, visualizing uh, how I'm doing with the cart, and that is that I want to make a um, an on-screen indicator that shows you my inputs basically so I'm going to add four GUI elements here I'm going to add a new frame first of all and I am going to place I want to place it above the speedometer so I need to check what values are used to make the speedometer let's go with 360 speedometer let's see what's this 1 minus 150 size is uh, 50 so I think 200 need to be at least 200 I think uh, it's kind of hard to do uh, mass by head at times um, let's do 1 uh, 250 yeah sure let's go with that then uh, keys I want to change the name of this thing I want to make the frame itself invisible and then I want to add a further four frames for every key basically it should give you a good indication uh, which direction I am trying to go in so I'm going to call this one W so Front one, this should be at the top. Size will be 50. Let's actually make it 30. Let's make it a little bit smaller. 30, 30. And I want to center this thing. So I want to do not 1, uh, not 0.5, minus 15. So our element over here is centered. I want to get rid of the background. And I want to make this quite transparent. And um, my idea is if you press the key, then that uh, the transparency of this thing is going to change to something less transparent. And then I want to do the same for the A. Um, OK, 
Okay, uh, I want to do this 50, let me see, then I want to move this down by 35, yes that's good. And then I need to put another one here, this one needs to be in the center, so this one has to be minus 15, and that's going to be our S key, and then we want our D key. And we want that to be, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, I think, uh, no, 20, we need 20, okay, uh, see a few people in chat already, hello, Gacha Blocks and RX Gamer, welcome to the stream. If you want to have a little conversation, then uh, I'm open for it. See, I'm meanwhile, I'm going to adjust the position of this GUI here. Let's see, and then I want this to be moved towards the left. Yes, this is good. I like this. And then I want to go in the... Let's see, what's the best thing I can do now? Because I think... Yeah, I've got a throttle, I've got a steer. Input value, it should be consistent with my key inputs. Uh, let's do something like that. Um, at the end of an input function, let's put an else here because we want to detect if uh, an input state has begun or if it has ended. And if it's not, if uh, uh, neither an input state begun or it need it ended uh, in case with controllers this is re relevant then I'm going to ignore everything and I'm going to return the script so I want to add a new section uh, keys indicator I want to add a section of the script where uh, let me zoom in this in by the way so if you're watching from mobile that you will be able to see everything fine and then I want to check for if the throttle equals 1. So if we are accelerating, uh, aka if we're holding the W key down. Um, also, I want to revert, make sure that everything else is on 0. Let me also, or, I mean, all the other things are. Um, Actually, there can be more at the time. Never mind. Uh, I'm a bit. I'm a bit stupid. Uh, I can just do. Yeah. Wait. Let me make a declaration. Let me make a quick reference to the keys frame in here. So let's go here. Let's write a uh, keys equal script uh, GUI dot because remember we've got this reference here. Uh, keys and then we go GUI dot keys so now we have referred to this frame over here then I want to um, if we are uh, accelerating I want to show it here as well so if throttle equals one then keys dot Um, w dot transparency equals let's do 0 0.2 and if this isn't the case then so if we are not accelerating then the transparency of the w thing is going to be 0 0.8 as it is right now then I want to we can do an else if uh, no let's do them all separate so if thought was minus one, so that's a shoot. So that should happen when we are holding down our S key. Then we want our S key to change. Otherwise, if steer equals minus one, and I believe yes, um, minus one's A, so that minus one's left. So we need to do the A key here, and then we we'll want to copy paste this again, if say equals 1 then we want to change our D key and this shouldn't be transparency, I'm nearly making a mistake here uh, it has to be called background transparency as shown here 
So let me change that quickly. Background transparency, I think I wrote that correctly, I'm pretty sure I did. Now let's test this card and see if this key indicator is working, that would be useful for the rest of this tutorial to have. It is not, and that's why, because of one little error, and also because this thing needs to be back inside the script, it should replace the old one. I duplicated it to the start of GUI to basically see how it looks like. Okay, look at it. Yes. Now it should be working. Yes. Okay, now we can see uh, pretty much, it's not perfect, but this will do the job for now. This will show you uh, which keys I'm pressing, so I'm also always pressing W, and despite me uh, turning, this car slows down on its own, and let me uh, also, one thing I'm noticing, what we're going to sort this out a little bit later, is when the cart breaks, that the front, re there's a lot of body roll at the front, I believe the front even touches the ground, what if we turn? I don't think that's an issue in itself. It's mainly... Also, I feel the car's kind of struggling to turn. On the grass, it's doing okay. On the tarmac, it's doing... Um, Not sure. But if we brake, this car really has a lot of... Uh, body roll. Okay. Uh, let me... Let me see, I want to quickly change the... Suspension strength of this thing, the stiffness of the suspension. I'm not sure if I made a very easy variable for that for me to use. Doesn't look like I did. So let me actually uh, make a few variables so it's easy to edit. Um, free length equals five. Then we also want to be able to easily adjust the stiffness and damping. So stiffness and damping. And then we want stiffness to be, let's do 400. Let's go back up. Let's do 400. And damping, let's do 200, and I hope that's what I also have there, down here. If it's the only place where I declare damping, yes it is, I'm pretty sure, yes, we're good. This has the opposite effect, but okay, cool. <laughs> I literally did the opposite of what I wanted to do. I, of course, need to increase the stiffness. I'm a little bit silly. Uh, Sue 700 stiffness. Now our card's pretty much collapsing. Awesome. Let's see if this is any better. Our card seems to drive reasonably well, but it's struggling to turn through corners still. And I'm not sure why, and also, what I also want to point out, except for the fact that this cart uh, is not exactly cooperating as I want to do. I'm not sure if the wheels, are the wheels actually uh, rotating themselves? If I'm in straight line, it's just a whole cart wobbling for no reason. Okay, um, so now I am going to quickly 
make this card super fast. It's actually, by the way, not really good practice to have some uh, adjustables here and some adjustables here. I'm going to change that later. Let's actually change the top speed of this thing, the max torque of this thing, and the max turn angle. Let's turn it down to 20, and then, of course, decrease the drag. And give this card a lot of power. I don't hope. I hope I didn't overdo it. This, okay, fine. This car's this car is super wiggly. Okay, now it barely turns. Um, if I go, it's, if I try to go in a straight line, I think it's generally struggling to get up to speed because this car is wobbling too much. Well, there are ways to fix that. Fortunately for us, and what I first of all can do is add body gyros in the front inside the wheels. And let me double check this by looking it up on the Robux Dev page. I the body gyro, if I'm correct, uh, stabilizes can help stabilize uh, or fix a certain orientation of a part so it can't. For example, randomly do this or move in uh, an unwanted direction, basically. So let me think quickly. Uh, what I don't want to do, I don't think I want the car to do this, the wheels either. I only want them to be able to rotate like this. And I want them to be able to, at least the front wheels, I want them to be able to move like this uh, when I want them to. Uh, actually, no, I want those wheels to be always able to move like this, but maybe uh, at least the front wheels. Yeah, the rear wheels as well. I need to disable um, the rotation limitation on all wheels. Okay. Uh, X Gamer, can you maybe do a green and red pillar, but horizontal on the screen, uh, speed GUI? I'm not going to do that right now, maybe another time. Uh, right now I want to focus on what I was actually supposed to do in this video, because we're now uh, a little bit further into the video, and I'm yet to start with what I am actually was supposed to start with, which is uh, the stability of this car. So we're going to do all this in the... In this section, in this very beautiful section, which I also want to optimize in a uh, later part of this series. Probably, maybe the next part we're going to do that. But now, I first want to give this cart a little bit more freedom in terms of turning. There's quite a lot of things I still want to do with this cart, actually. Uh, you have no idea. You have no idea. Anyway. We now want to add body gyro, so let me see where I can, where's the best place to do that. Um, so this is for one this is for one wheel. So I just have to add okay, where's the this is a section. So let me just carry on here. Uh, gyros I can't have one keep betting the H key Y Y Y. Okay, um so the body gyro, let me ins actually uh get a random part. Let me actually make a sphere and let me show you what I mean with this. So if I were to insert a sphere or a ball like this and on the normal all circumstances, I should be able to make it move, make it roll, if my character goes there and stands on it. And I should be able to make it roll in any direction I want, basically, like so. But what I want to do is I want to limit in which directions the ball can roll. So, for example, I only want the ball to be able to rotate like this. And not like this, and not like this. So what I do is I insert a body gyro here. Uh, 
And then I want to, the most important part is this here. Um, yeah, this is the main thing we're concerned about. So what this does is this, the a body gyro basically forces a certain object to be in a particular orientation to maintain a to maintain this orientation, to not make it roll in a certain direction or anything. But we want it to be able to roll in one direction. And let me check quickly which uh, axis I want to restrict. I want to restrict the Z and the Y axes. So what I want to do is I want this uh, gyro to restrict um, y and the z axis like so uh, this is how much force it's going to basically apply or how much force it can apply in order to um make the ball go the right give the ball the right orientation again and if we leave the one axis on zero then it's basically going to ignore that one so if i'm going to play now and also the d and i'm reading this off the rogue's death page right now also would have noticed a D variable. Uh, let me see. As you can see, uh, it's sort of doing. This is interesting. So it's more or less maintaining. Let's see if we can keep get back to this ball. It is behaving a bit differently now. That was. So right now it struggles to move in other direction, but still does do next stem because this gyro has its limitations. But you see, the ball has some uh, behaves a bit differently now. Definitely, you can tell that. But what I now want to do is I want to uh, make this thing more aggressive. So if I increase the p value. That's how much. That's how hard it's basically going to try to uh, keep the ball's orientation as it wants it to be. And D is the amount of dampening it uses to reach the goal. I don't know too much about dampening, if I'm honest. So I'm going to leave it at that. Well, let's try it again. You see, I can move this. Crucially, I can move this ball in this direction, but it doesn't want to roll that direction. Also, if I... Now it's really spinning really fast. Uh, you can see that it doesn't want to roll in, the, in those two directions. It's really struggling, and this thing is kind of freaking out because it's really resisting the rolling. really resisting right now but yeah this is basically what i want to do for the wheels as well to some extent and also uh by the way if i do this then i then it doesn't rotate at all but it, if i restrict all three uh rotations that it doesn't rotate at all as you can see here fun Okay, so now I want this point gyro to be inside all four of those wheels. So what I have to do is I want to insert a new part, new object named gyro, and I want to insert it into, or I want to insert a body gyro, and I want to insert it into our wheel, which I believe is called wheel. In this case, yes, it's the it's the wheel we were looking for. Gyro dots p equals. Let's do this amount. I can play around with it if I if uh, the results are a bit too extreme. I'm also a little bit experimenting this point. Uh, and then we want to change the max torque of this. Uh, gyro to this 
basically. Uh, let me double check it with the wheels if they have the same logic. So, yeah, I want to restrict everything but the X direction. But if I go ahead with this, this should mean that I can't turn the cart in theory. And also, it's not. It's doing something really stupid. Something broke. Let me check that. Uh, will make constraints. Seems to call a table value. Uh, three o eight. What did I do? Oh dear, what did I do? Oh yeah, need to put a new in there. That's what happens when you program in C sharp as well. Then you tend to make those uh, mistakes. Very cool. Okay. Awesome. That's epic. Let's downside. Let's scale this down to one thousand, and hope that this doesn't kill the card. Basically, freak the card out. Let's see. What happens now. Now I can go. Quite far, a bit faster, and as you can see, it is wiggling. But that is because it it's trying to keep um, the wheels going in the same direction. And now our car table go quite a bit faster. That's good. Now we want to make sure that the wheels don't wiggle too much, which I believe is where the damping com comes in. And this is pure. Uh, at this point, I'm uh, experimenting, basically. Uh, What's the default value of damping? It's 500. I think, I believe if I increase damping to uh, 1500, for example, that's going to be less wiggly. That's going to fluctuate a little bit less between stable and not stable. Let me see if I'm correct with that. Uh, it looks like I am. Awesome. It still is wiggling though, don't get me wrong. It still is fight basically fighting with the car, but this is better. This is a lot better. Uh, it's it's not. It is moving a lot better now. That's that's very good. Now let me think for a second. Uh, now I want um, the front wheels to be able to move, or, or basically, um, let me put it this way. I want to. Um, not to restrict the Y direction, the Y uh, rotation is basically the wheels doing this. I want, to not, I want to not restrict that. Let me first try and see what happens if I always um, allow the wheels to rotate. I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen in that case. Can I go fast? Not quite. Now we're back to uh, base. Well, issue on my turn angle 30, that's fine. Uh, actually, let me change the turn angle to 45 to see uh, the wheels actually turn. So, it turns out that we do want this to be restricted to an extent, but not always. So, what I want to do, I'm going to do that in the control script. I know, very, uh, very confusing. I want, uh, if our, if we are turning our car, so if steer does not equal to zero, uh, then I want, and also want to do an else case. Then I want um, to read back to our body gyros and all four wheels. Let me actually write a quick function. Uh, J function gyros. And then uh, position. Then I want to select every wheel. I believe I can do cart. Did I assign a cart? 
value anywhere? No, I didn't, so I have to... I did it. Where did I... Okay. So I'm going to have to do it the hard way. C dot parent. So we're now in the chassis, now we're in the car, now we're in the wheels dot... Front right dot body gyro dot max torque, I believe it's called max torque, yeah. Equals our of or our vector. Let's call this vector, which is our uh, x y z value. Then let's do the same for the other three wheels. So our front left, rear right, rear left, vector 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 vector. And now I want to simply add this here, and then vector three dot new. Um, if we are steering and zero zero, not change gyros, so I don't want that. Then we want this mass value. How many zeros is that actually? That's 10 million. Yeah, 10 million. That's very legit number. Very nice number. And then I'll, and then if we're not steering, then I want uh, the car to basically stabilize. So let's see what happens. Now, now I get a lot of Was it doing that before? Not sure. Anyway, I am definitely making a mistake here. Pound pound script a uh, seed dot wheel stop. Yeah, I called it wheel uh FR, not just FR uh wheel. Let me actually correct that. Of course it doesn't work because I am a little bit stupid sometimes. Now our cart should be more stable. And we should still be able to maneuver when we want this to. I do notice that if I stop applying the throttle that it doesn't want to turn. That's awesome. Now it's total. Now it refuses to move. I'm not sure what's up with that. But as you can see, if we go in a straight line. Also, I feel like the wheels are still struggling to move by themselves. Yeah, the wheels are definitely struggling. Let's do something about that because the wheels are struggling to move by themselves. Um, let's see what I can do about that. Actually, let's. I need to then, can I make the, yeah, I think I need to ha uh, adjust the servo max torque. Let's see if I define the really servo. Let's see if I already wrote something like that in the script. No, I didn't. It's using the default servo max torque thing. Basically, um, how hard it's going to try to turn. Let's see what it does right now. you not okay this thing tends to glitch if it's not moving which I'm going to change in a moment very cool does our suspension still work with this by the way let me check that quickly let's try to go over the bumps doesn't the gyro mess up it's hard to see, but the wheels are struggling to move. Yeah, the suspension is working. That's good. Now, I want to check the servo. What's the current servo max torque it's trying to apply? Well, I don't care about the rears. Are also the rear wheels moving by any chance? No, they're not. Okay, front left. Yeah, we've got a max torque already. Let's go all the way with this, actually. Well, how did I... Max torque. Servo max torque. Seriously, I never defined this? Okay, cool. Did I define it here, though? Servo max torque, yeah. I did it here. What if I do this? And this here, this is a beauty. I think I can leave the brackets. That would 
to what this is. This is a built-in uh, variable that Rogues provides to you. And this basically means insanely high values. Math.huge is literally a really high number. In a stupidly high number, in fact. Now if I try to drive, I want the wheels doing. Um, our cart's also doing interesting stuff. Yeah, the wheels still struggle to, uh... Have that rotation sorted. So suddenly something is resisting how well these wheels are able to turn. Which is a shame. I want this wheels to turn perfectly, but... They're being resisted really hard. Um, crap, I don't know how to sort this out. Why do these wheels struggle to move so much? I don't get it. What if I do that? Wait, but wait, 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 wait. What if I increase the friction of these things? What if I, if I give them infinite friction? That seems like a good idea, except that it isn't. <laughs> Physics are fun. Physics are a lot of fun, clearly. What if I give those wheels infinite friction? Well, not infinite friction, but a lot more friction than they normally have. Do friction. Let's try that. And let's get rid of the elasticity. Let's make that zero. And let's see what's going to happen now. Is it going to work or is it going to do even more crazy stuff? The answer is... It is turning a little bit better, but it's also really... Uh, the suspension hurts. You hate to see it. It's, the suspension is freaking out, and the wheels are still struggling to move by the looks of it. Um, these wheels really don't want to move, do they? What's the... Why are they resisting so bad? Um, uh, they're still... They're trying. They're definitely trying. Let me actually... Before we continue, let me actually uh, make the suspension and everything invisible because we don't really need to see them anymore. The parts we don't need, so let me make the wheels themselves non-transparent. And let me make those other things invisible. So we can do that in our chassis script. I basically need to find where the transparency is being used. Transparency. Let's make this one. Wait, 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 one. This has to be one. And then somewhere there's a suspension being declined and we need to make that one invisible. Let's make this invisible. You become invisible. You become invisible. And so on. You become invisible, uh, and you become invisible, and then where did we declare, where did we create the suspension part? We also did that somewhere, not sure why. Where did we do that? Suspension stuff. Let's remove this here, so we don't ha we don't have to see the suspension anymore. Now we should have a better look at our wheels to see what we do with them. Yeah, you see, you can clearly see um, the wheels do move, but there's a lot of resists. 
Cards read really resisting, isn't it? Also, the suspension is making things a little bit tricky by being pretty. Doing a lot as well. Trying to move this thing again. I feel like for next video, if I uh, if I can't improve this, I should do I should first try it on my own before I stream. That's, that would be a better idea because now the cards kind of works, but kind of. I mean, you can try, you can race with it for sure. It has its own mechanics, but it's not. But the thing is, it doesn't have the mechanics that I want it to have. I want it to be able to turn properly the entire time, and I don't want it to struggle and spaz out and behave really, you know, weird. Also, let me quickly show you something. Wait, whoa, whoa. let me show you something cool ish. If I were to do this, then I believe, I'm pretty sure, that our cards will still, still work. Basically, that you can adjust. Yeah, this. This still works, that's great, that's what I was going for. But the thing is, I can't... The suspension is doing a good job, as you can tell. Suspension is definitely fine, that's not the issue. Let's have some let's do some little bit of experimenting with aerobics physics. What if I make the tires wide? What if I make them thick? What does happen then? Let's see. Then We have a car that isn't working because I don't know. It sure it sure does look like it sure does look great. But the problem is our car itself is doing all sorts of things. Definitely doesn't have a good effect on the car. I'm not sure if it's the suspension not really working as I want it to work. Let me actually check that quickly. Actually, let me do this because in case I want to make a Let me actually do this here Where I can easily adjust the transparency of everything to what I want it to be because Sometimes I want to uh, Transparency Sometimes I want to, trans uh, to be able to see the path to see how the card is behaving and sometimes I don't so that's why I'm adding this variable in quickly instead of having to do this the entire time this will be the final time that I have to do this because after that um, we should be good to go uh, Meanwhile I am busy doing this um, F1 is returning this weekend. Who's excited? Oh dear, yeah. I knew that those parts were going to look like this, but the thing is... The positioning of all the parts is still correct, am I right? Yeah. The positioning of everything still makes sense. Pretty much, yeah. Oh no. Mm, let's actually ignore this problem for now. Where the car simply doesn't do what I want. Let's actually make the wheels higher for, for the lols and see. Oh, this is going to be because I think if I resize the 
wheel so that isn't working properly not to do the scrape so I have to check that out this looks really good this looks really funny still whoa whoa cool also maybe I uh, should add a, an auto flip once Oh uh, yeah, ah yes, the thing, so, so it balanced. <sighs> Whoa, the forward momentum, then it's, whatever I make the suspension stiffer, let's do that, let's do 1500, screw it. Damping, uh, also increase damping, why not? Oh, I know also an, a little bit small issue, I think. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue, never mind. Yeah, and this thing doesn't really want to work well. Doesn't want to play nice. Is it? If I break and or if I stop moving, then this okay, it still functions, kind of. It's wiggly. Nice, very nice. Uh, what? Uh, maybe. Sh uh, let me think for about that. I want to. I want to restrict the how far. I don't want the car to be able to flip by itself. But I, I don't think gyros will work because with suspension you're always going to have what it's all it's normal that the car's going to roll slightly. But what I want to do is I want to be able to make that roll less somehow. What if I, by the way, do this? Uh, yeah. What was I say? What were I saying? Uh. I want to prevent the cart from doing insane stunts on its own, but at the same time, uh, because that's also how body roll works IRL, I don't want it to restrict this thing entirely. But yeah, the problem, this is engineering 101 here, <laughs> right here. I think the reason why it's flipping so easily is because of the center of gravity is really high on this thing. So if I were to add just an invisible part um, down here, that's in the center of everything. If I were to add a part here, that's in the bang middle of everything, and make it invisible, and I give it a lot of density, then I think that's going to. Uh, improve things let's see I think that should make a cut less likely to flip pretty sure yeah Okay, it still does want to flip. Um, cool. I guess. What if I do this? This. Yeah, I think maybe it's the issue with the cars right now is the this the weight distribution of everything. That could be an issue. Like the, maybe the wheel should be heavier. See what the effect is. This is physics experimenting because even though I've been in rogues for nine years now, fi rogues physics are always going to remain a mystery, if you ask me. Um, six. Make this not collide, okay. Then we don't have to worry about that thing. Interesting, interesting. It 
if I were to put this Spartan Stealth down here, if I were to put it all the way up here, make it non-collide, then it's going to... Flip really quickly, it's going to have a really high... Uh... Yeah, look at this. Then it has a really high... Uh... The center of gravity is really high and then it tends to want to do crazy stuff. Whoa. This streams yeah, there we go. This stream is quickly turning into an experimenting video, having just having fun with uh Roblox physics. Anyway, it's good. It's I think it's fun to do some experimenting with uh this. So that's all fine. Um Okay, I can't resist, I'm sorry. Can't resist this. An insane... <laughs> Epic. Physics 101, right here, awesome. But here's my question. I want to make this thing more stable. In its own right. If it has a low center of gravity, then it's going to do fine most of the time. Let's actually remove this part again. Let's bring it. let's move the wheels up again to what it was before. Let's go back to where we were with our cart. Yeah, the main issue with this cart is that the wheels struggle to turn when they are supposed to turn. It is stable in a straight line, so that's very good. Awesome. And so downs a lot in the process because it's really trying hard to turn. But just doesn't want to turn. Hmm, what if what if I give this uh card a little bit of a turn assist basically? What if I use a gyro that makes a car turn? Uh, rotating gyro. Let's see which one. This which body mover do I have to use in that case? I believe it is. Um, let me check. I want a rotating thing. Let's use this ball again for uh, as an example. I want to have a angular velocity. That's what I want. Let's play this quickly. As you can see here, the angular velocity is supposed to make a wheel turn or make something rotate. So what I want to do is if our cart starts to, if we want to steer our cart, that we're going to apply an additional force that's going to help the cart rotate. Maybe it's cheating, but I don't care. This is uh, all I care about is making a cart that works. Uh, that's why you don't do up the turn speeds. It doesn't really have turn speed. This thing works a little bit different. This is not a regular vehicle. Going to do much, I think. I can always try. Hmm, actually, actually, now I'm thinking of it. Maybe uh, turn speed's going to cause the thing, the car to uh, rotate extra. Not sure. Actually, I think it's worth trying. I don't think it makes too much of a difference, though. Not sure 
Wait if I add some talk as well. Do 10 talk. This is an experiment. If the talk makes the cards go faster, turn speed isn't doing much, I think. What if I, instead of turn speed 1, what if I make it turn speed to 5? Still struggling quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Turn speed 100, let's go. No, I don't think it does anything. Fortunately, it was worth trying. Uh, how do you do that scoreboard for Formula Rogue Sweat updates constantly? Um, it update, yeah, it's it's complicated. It's a pretty complicated script, actually. I'm, the, I'm not going to be able to fully explain it. But basically, it's, it uh, requires the play uh, local scripts to keep sending uh, the server script new data where everyone on track is so if you are in another section of the track you send that data to the server and the server is going to uh, do some stuff with the data and it's going to uh, send uh, some data back to the play and uh, that later is used by another local script to update the scoreboard. Anyway, let's do the... Um, let's add in a... Let's do it here, local... Maybe make a video on it. Uh, maybe. A uh, really big maybe, but I don't want to expose, every, explain literally everything that I've made. I want to keep some of those things for myself or leave it up to others to figure out how it works. Don't want to go that far. Cause it's a pretty complicated system again. So don't want to expose everything, if that makes sense to you. Uh, anyway, back to the script. I want to create a uh, new variable called, uh, let's actually do called AV. Let's leave it empty and let's actually declare, oh, assign AV to something inside here. So AV is instant new angular velocity. Angular velocity, body, ang body angular velocity. Then I want to insert it into the seed. Angular velocity, let's see what properties does it have again. Okay, we have to deal with angular velocity itself. This one uh, is a little hard to judge, I think two is fine. Max talk. Um, let's actually let's try. Let's first start with angular velocity. Angular velocity equals zero one zero. Let's try that. And for the max talk. Let's do, let's defy physics and go with math huge. Basically, ro that's going to try really hard no matter what resistance it gets to rotate. I'm not sure why it doesn't work for the wheels though, math huge. And then power uh, av.p equals 1000, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Nothing actually. Yeah, it does rotate by itself. Now the wheels are definitely not cooperating. Yeah. I forgot to. Can I actually. 
drive this thing now. Yeah, I forgot to... Let's make this zero, zero, zero first. Because I don't want this always to be turning, of course. Let's go here. Let's add another section. Uh, angular mover. And velocity in this ship becomes here. Let's try now. That's the opposite direction. Okay, cool. Um, minus steer it is then. Uh, I'm still having issues with the wheel. I mean... You can tell this thing does move to agree this it's not going in a straight line why is that because the wheels are all messed up the f my issue with the front wheels is that they not exactly doing what I want I mean I think the angular velocity is a good move it does it definitely mm, does uh, improve the handling but the issue right now is that the front wheels don't want to align as they should align. And let me check the f servo thing if I can find anything. Target angle, angular speed. Servo max torque. Can I give it a certain torque or basically force it to do what I want it to do? Because if I give it, excuse me, but if I give it a target angle. And it should always stick to that angle. By the way, I'm going to look up what the resolution is. Perhaps that helps. But I don't understand why it's... The tires keep resisting their uh, intended rotation. Why do they keep doing stupid stuff like that? I don't get it. What was it? Uh, let me look up uh, servo... What was it called again? Servo thingy? Let me just look it up. It was a hinge constraint, of course. Hinge constraint. Constraint. Let me look it up. Okay. Uh, there's angular velocity. Oh, wait, that only applies. If it's a motor, how elastic attachment? Restitution. Wait, what is what does that word? So this is one of those English words that I actually don't know what they mean. I'm not a native English speaker, so. Might surprise you, I do speak with quite an English accent, but I tend to not know a few words sometimes. Restitution, okay, okay, I see. Okay, fair enough. So, restitution, if I go to the front wheels, back to the front wheels, uh, chassis script. Let's go with this. Don't need to search anything. Let's find the servo. Servo dot restitution equals one. It's apparently it's a value between zero and one. Let's see what happens if I change restitution to one. Oh wait, let, does this actually matter if I do, let me check again if uh, this messes up anything. I'm not sure if it actually does, probably does to be fair. Yeah, first of all those wheels are much closer together as they were bef than they were before. And now this thing isn't, the wheels don't rotate cool. Yeah, this thing definitely isn't working perfectly still. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
Let's widen those. I didn't widen them. Why? Come on, man. How many stupid prizes do I want to win at this point? Let's try again. Are you making a karting game? Uh, not. No. Not at the moment. Maybe one day. I'm going to use this for a card game. I know why this wheel's not moving because. Because physics are weird. Let's make this a monster truck. Actually, I don't care. Fun. And the wheels don't move at all. Great. I don't get Roblox physics. Roblox physics are stupid. Why am I even bothering with this? Okay, now what did I want to do? I wanted to try something. Yeah, I know what I want to try. Just to see what happens. What if I make these balls? Two, two, two. Yes, and then make more balls. Let's see what happens then. Just for the heck of it, because I know with tank chassis, with um, the old style Roblox cars, where you can use torque with turn speed, which is much more straightforward than this. What happens if I do something like, how do the wheels behave any differently if they were circles? Let's actually put them back together. Let's do this, make them. Balls, let's do this. It kind of looks like a shopping trolley now. Okay, no, okay. I don't think that that works at all. The circles, I don't think they do anything good. There's one other thing I want to try though with this. Whenever I increase the density of the wheels, so have more, have a less centralized uh, weight. What happens if I do that? Love Roblox physics. Why? Why? Oh dear, why? This looks really funny, <laughs> to be fair. Fun wheels, for example, dictate where the entire cart goes. I don't get this. Why? Why do the wheels not go where I want them to? Is this peak Roblox? Is this peak karting? Here's a good question. Is this? Is this it? Is this what row racing is supposed to look like? I have 100 million questions right now. I don't get it. Why? Is the rear pointing up? Why is the front coming down? For apparently no reason at all this I, I i don't even know why this how do rogues physics even work at this point <laughs> why is it trying so hard to focus on one Um, let me actually remove gyros from existence. Why not? Whatever if the gyros don't move. See what happens now. 
Mm, maybe I don't actually need the gyros to be fair. Well, I do because now the car's stable. Here's the thing, uh, I don't have any gyros right now. Still, this car just tilts in one direction. Well, without gyros, the wheel seems to be functioning a bit better. Maybe that's a problem with gyros. I need to not have those when I try to make the wheels turn. Maybe I should do... Wait, oh, oh, oh. I should do this. And then they work a little bit better. This isn't quite it. Thing is not stable. I don't know. I don't even know. What's the problem? It just doesn't seem to make any sort of sense. Any kind of. Not in a single universe does this even make sense. Let's try this. Literally no one, not a single soul in the entire universe. Roblox physics, this. The angular velocity does help, but the... Why are the wheels? I don't know. The, those wheels were working fine earlier today when I started the stream, but now they are doing... They're having their own wheel. They are a rebellious set of wheels. They will do everything except what you actually want them to do. And that's to go in any direction they want. Ain't no car or script telling me what to do. Okay. Um... I need to think for a second, where did this go wrong, why, what, and what was I about to do, yeah, making the wheels really light. Let's try that, make the wheels really light. There goes my character. Making the wheels very light is going to result in... Still, the card's having its own mind, its own logic. I feel it does have to do with the gyros for some reason. Shouldn't all wheels be trying to not <laughs> mess up rotation? I feel it does have to do with the gyros inside the wheels. Remove gyros. No, doesn't matter. In reality, though, it makes things worse. I am literally clueless right now. I don't know what to do with this thing. I'm not sure if I'm even going to update the model because it's... I mean... It's of course different from what was before, but... I'm not sure if it has improved from where we started. Yeah, it has improved, but... Public physics are just... Greatest mystery on earth right now. Restitution doesn't do uh, much either, so let me get rid of that. 
Um, 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 okay, I need to think. Let's see, what do I have to do here? So, lower angle, upper angle, that's fine. Okay. Why do the wheels have their own wheel? Good question. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave that as it is, and I'm going to experiment on my own time. And and if I find find a solution, then I'll show you what I did on the in the next stream or in the future stream. That's probably the best thing what I'm going to do because I don't think I'm going to. It's probably going to take too long for me to figure out what's up. If anyone happens to be an expert in this field with Roblox physics, uh, please let me know, or at least give me a direction what I'm doing wrong with this. Because I also spent quite a bit of time trying to make a chassis. When I first made the Formula Roblox, I wanted to make a car like this, but it just didn't work. So I ended up doing some, uh, going in a little bit of a different handling direction, which it made into the game. But, yeah, this isn't working. And now, uh, I want to do some code optimizing. But I feel that should be a separate uh, video, or maybe a separate stream. I don't think I'm going to do it right now. I think I'm going to uh, leave it as this for now, for stream. And I am going to sort this thing out on my own and then if I find a solution then I'm going to make the next part of this stream so I don't think I'm going to publish this card for now uh, it's going to the old version is going to still be there uh, I think I'm going to close streams soon unless anyone wants to see something else let's do that quickly let's have 50 minutes of something else to round up the stream Maybe talk about something, or I don't know if anyone has a good suggestion on what to do. Be my guest. My opinion on Carlos Sainz, uh, he's a solid driver, 7 out of 10. He will make a, he will make a good uh, number 2 Ferrari driver. Uh, I want to see that, kind of joking, but I don't think Sainz is the best driver in the world. He's decent, that's what I would say. Uh, maybe he'll surprise me with Ferrari, I hope he does to be honest. Nice, seems like a nice guy. Uh, any new plans on a new circuit for Formula Roblox? I thought maybe you vote for the next circuit. Um, I have an idea what the next circuit is going to be. Uh, I'm not planning on making it soon because I want to do a few other things first, including making a new corner cutting system for the game, which I am working on actually. And I have a version of it in the works and something that's able to be tested, which is going to be done by the testing squad in the Formula Roblox testing squad. Uh, then there was the track map, I'm also working on that. Uh, it's pretty still struggling with it a little bit, or 
not working how it wants to work, not properly working yet. Physics are weird. Make a separate layout for this. Are you planning on making a karting game? Uh, at the moment, no. I have perhaps an idea. Maybe one day. I definitely want to do uh, another project. Start a new project uh, this year. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm even going to... It's even going to be a rogues game or uh, if I'm going to do it with other people because I'm kind of uh, up for that to maybe join a um, dev team for a project. Uh, if it's a team with uh, I don't know, maybe a few people, I don't know, uh, could be a small group, uh, could be I'm fine with being the only script if I would join a dev group and the other if the others are really good builders. Uh, maybe make a shooting game or something else. Uh, not necessarily racing. But uh, yeah, I was maybe thinking of a concept, karting game, so who knows, maybe I'm going to make a karting game at some point. That would be fun. So yeah, Exo would be someone I would want to work with, definitely, but he's probably busy with Project Apex and I'm doing Formula Roblox, so if I would work with him, I don't know if he's going to be watching this, otherwise hello Alex. Uh, yeah, I'd want to work with him on, some, on something, I'd be up for that. But I think uh, Exo and most of the Project Apex guys are pretty committed to Project Apex right now. Also, um, I've got a nice question for you guys. Uh, give me a controversial F1 opinion. Go. And Swartz talented, yes I agree, he's, he's, he's underrated. And Swartz underrated. His, qualif his qualifying is pretty bad, but he's actually got, he's got some talent. 
I mean, if you look at his junior career, he he won some stuff, unlike another uh, rich Canadian who just made his way into F1. Swell won Formula 3 in his second season. He won for, uh, form Italian Formula 4 on his first attempt. And he won Toyota Racing Series. I actually recently looked that up. Ooh, this is a spicy one. Uh, I think Lando has a f bad fan base. Ooh. I think some people... I think some Lando fans are, yeah. I think it's with every fan, to be fair. It's also for Stappen fans who are pretty retarded, I would say. Or even Hamilton fans. Yeah, some Lando fans tend to uh, always... Su yeah, fans usually tend to side with the favorite driver, no matter what. For example, you probably think, probably referring to uh, the controversy with Norris and Pagano, where Pagano took out uh, Lando Norris. Um. Yes. And Lando Norris wasn't cool about that, and every uh, Lando fan was pretty much like, or the general Lando fan was like, Pagano is stupid, he should he should get fired for what he did. Such an easy, you don't do that in racing games, you need to take it seriously, or something like that. And then, in a V8 supercar race Norris was in, he did something stupid, he crashed, pre uh, reverse a little bit on track to enter the p and end up blocking the pit entry and laughed it off as a joke. And then I was like, you can't have it both ways, Lando. It's either you take it as a joke or it isn't a joke. And both events, I mean, it also depends on the event. If it's a fun event with friends, then it's a different story. But I mean, both the V8 supercar events and especially the IndyCar event have some legitimacy to them. They are. I would say pretty serious events with sponsors and everything involved. What's my most controversial opinion? Uh, Paul Ricard is a decent track. Perhaps. Actually, I think it's a fun track to drive on. And it has potential for decent racing, but last year just didn't deliver. And I believe in 2018, the race at Paul Ricard was... Not that bad, I remember. There were quite some overtakes. So I think Paul Ricard's underrated. Yeah, I'll go with that. Because it, ha it has only had two years in F1. And because it has had one really boring race last year, everyone's already calling it a worse track. I remember when... I remember when Baku was a shit track in 2016 because it has its first race was really boring. And now we all love Baku because it had a few crazy races. What's your ideal calendar? Okay. Let me name a few tracks I really like. Spa. Silverstone, Austria, or the uh, Red Bull Ring. Uh, what's another good one? I feel like Monaco should still be there. I don't mind Monaco because it's only one once in a year and it's uh, special, it's different, it's a challenging circuit. It's unique. So I'm fine with Monaco. So being there, Brazil, Interlagos, one of my favorite tracks as well. Um, I want to say Zandvoort because I really like driving on it, but it's probably a biased, uh, biased opinion. Okay. What are other good tracks are there? I want to see Nürburgring back on the calendar, perhaps. I think Circus America is decent. Suzuka is a good one. 
Do you think F1 cars should be shorter? Yes, absolutely. I want the F1 cars to be of the same proportions as uh, the 28, 2008 cars. Again, those I think those cars were near perfection, in my opinion. I think 2006 perhaps, 2005 of one cars were the best and maybe have slick, somehow work slick tires into them, those cars were slick tires, I think that would be awesome. Don't mind the engine too much, if we still keep the V6 because uh, we have to be uh, friendly for the environment, of course, so V10s aren't going to do anymore. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up the screen. The I always say scream, I mean stream. I'm going to end the stream now. Thank you everyone for watching. And I'm going to wait a few moments if someone has anything to say in the chat. Okay, one more question. Should F1 be a spec series? No, that, that wouldn't be F1. F1 is F1 is also about deve car development, so I don't think F1 should be a spec series. I'm going to end the stream. Now I'm going to wait, uh, I think, 30 more seconds. Okay, uh, have a nice evening or day, everyone. I am going to end this stream. Uh, hopefully, next stream is going to go better. May take two weeks until the next stream because... I'm going to be working on Formula Roblox quite a bit, so I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time to look at, try to sort this cart out. So, uh... Yeah, I'll see you in the next stream. Have a nice evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you later. Goodbye.